And another G20 protest rally today, this time targeting the Canadian mining and excavation industries. Activists marched along Bathurst Street down College to University Avenue to the American consulate. Hey, hey. Clashes between protesters and police this afternoon could foreshadow what's to come with the G20 summit just days away. Police watched as activists marched to the beat of their own drums during what they called a toxic tour of Toronto. The activists blame Canadian corporations and politicians for damaging the environment. But there are concerns from both sides over the potential for demonstrations to turn violent. They're the violent ones. We want a better world. We're trying to protect our planet and make a future safe for everybody. But they're coming out here with guns and a billion dollars worth of security to intimidate us. And they're trying to say that we're the violent ones. It's only news when it becomes sensational, right? It's not, it's not news if it's, if it's calm and it's relaxed. It's, it's news when it either becomes violent or it's outrageous, you know? So like, you know, so, we, so we're, we're pushed to almost be a freak show. Today's three-hour march is the third G20-related demonstration this week. And among the groups with a march plan during the G20 summit is Marxist group Fight Back. In studio now is Alex Grant, former union organizer with QP and CEP and Toronto organizer of Fight Back. Uh, the notion we just heard there uh, is that, you know, we only get attention when it's violent. Do you buy into that? Yes, that's sometimes true. But the, the most important thing about these demonstrations is a statement that normal everyday working people will not pay for the boss's crisis. There was the huge capitalist crisis that we witnessed uh, two years ago and continuing through the last two years. And we've all been told, well, we've got to share the pain, share the sacrifice. Well, what is the reality? Well, in fact, the millionaires in this world, last year their wealth went up by 19% to $39 trillion. The rest of us are sacrificing, they're getting bailed out, and we're saying that it's their crisis, make the bosses pay. Okay, and I would agree with that notion, but again, I want to ask you, do you agree then that violence is the way to get your message heard? Do you condone violence, or do you speak out against violence? Well, I think if the G20 leaders, if their policies cause people to get so angry, well, they should change the policies. So you, you condone violence? No, not at all. I hope there's not violence. I've never seen such a belligerent uh, police and military crackdown on, as on these protests. Uh, one of our supporters was going to a rally, and uh, police asked uh, to search his bag. He said no, which is his democratic right. And then the policeman threatened him with arrest for trespass if he didn't let him search his belongings. OK, Th so then what about the civilian yesterday who I know who was driving through the downtown streets of Toronto and was held up by protesters who didn't just block her way in her vehicle but were actually hitting her vehicle. Does she not have the democratic right to travel freely through this city and not be held up and have her vehicle assaulted by protesters? I think we have to have a democratic right to protest in this society. But that Without doesn't mean that... that you get to damage other people's property and it doesn't mean that you get to prevent me from exercising my civil rights of movement throughout the city. Well, I think that's the price of a democratic society, that people need the right to protest. Uh, no one's disputing that. But what, what concerns me is condoning of violence and holding me up. Because now you're supposed to be speaking for me. When you, that's what's always said by protesters. Yeah. Well, if it's not well, for I don't, us... I don't actually condone violence. Okay. And I actually think that the actions of the police, they are trying to get violence. There's, they've never been more belligerent. They've never been more in your face. The $1.3 billion is a huge waste of money. Could be spent on childcare, healthcare, transit city, I agree. There's lots like of better that. ways it yes. can be spent on. I don't agree that police have been belligerent, at, not, at least not to this point, because I've yet to see well, anything. We've, we've seen it uh, very closely. We've seen very a police, police officer asking to see what's in the back in your backpack that's belligerent that's your, your dem threatening arrest that's pretty belligerent if someone and came you and threatened right you with arrest court. and you have a right to go to court here's the difference well, only if you've got money only but if you've got money have you got the right to go to here's court here's the difference yeah. here's the difference mm. if i was marching and then you just saw in that video and i saw a gentleman and i was like wait a minute that guy marched in the march on monday well here, here's a question I, I, I'll I, move I away from the violence and i'll ask oh, you this good, because so you. many times i hear people say stand up against the G20, resistance to the G20. Mm -hmm. What exactly does that mean? Are you against the G20 meeting here in Toronto? Are you against what the G20 stands for? Are you, are you against the organization, the G20? What exactly does resist the G20 mean? Very good question. I'm against their policies. Uh, that we just saw the British budget yesterday 
25% cuts in every government department. You saw Greece, massive austerity measures. They spent trillions of dollars bailing out the banks, bailing out the corporations, and now after they spend all, all that money, they're demanding that normal, everyday working people, people who actually work for a living, have to pay for that. And I'm saying to you viewers, join the fight back, because this is going to be affecting your bottom line. This is affecting your job. This is affecting your social services. You know, go to our website, marxist.ca. We're holding a forum Saturday night, 7 o'clock at the Imperial Pub about the socialist alternative to the G20. And the more people get active, the less they can cut back and attack on the standard of living of everyday working people. Okay. Well, I thank you for your time. Thanks for coming in, Alex. We want to hear from you. Post a comment on our blog at blogs.canoe.ca slash canoe live. We're taking a break right now, but when we come back, we've got sports and entertainment.